Hi, I'm Chris Harvey from QA Training. This is one of a series of videos in which I'll be showing you how to use Excel more efficiently. In this particular video, I'm going to be creating a pivot table to summarize this list I have. I have a list here of all of the employees in a particular organization, and I wish to see the total salary for each department. This is ideal territory for a pivot table. I'll start by making sure that my cursor is somewhere inside the list. By putting it into the list, it means I don't have to select the list. I don't have any blank columns, I don't have any blank rows inside my list, so Excel will pinpoint my list for me. I can now come to Insert and choose Pivot Table. Just a quick note, in Excel 2007 and 2010, Microsoft positioned the Pivot Table command under the Insert ribbon. If you're using an earlier version, you'll need to take a look at your data menu. Again, Microsoft streamlined the process significantly in Excel 2007 and 2010. It is much easier to create a pivot table in the more recent versions of Excel. The dialog box here is asking me for the location of my list, and you'll see the flashing outline. This indicates that Excel has found the list. I don't need to select it because Excel has done the work already. The lower half of the screen is asking me where do I want the outcome. Do I want it on a brand new worksheet or do I want it next to my existing data? I almost always choose OK on this dialog box without changing anything. That gives me a blank dialog box. From here, I get tick boxes for each column in my original list. I can also choose where I want the information to go in these four panes down here. If my objective is to work out the total salary for each department, I'll start by ticking the department column and adding that into my pivot table. Excel scans down that original list and comes back with a list of unique values. If I need to see the total salary for each department, then the next step is just as easy. I simply tick salary and Excel adds a new column telling me the sum of salary for each of those departments. Because this is a number field, it has automatically been added into the value area. This is where Excel does all of its calculations. Department, on the other hand, is in the row area. That's because the default is to give me one row for each department. I could change it. I could move department up to the column area, but I don't think this looks as good. There we have a fairly simple pivot table in just a few seconds. I hope that helps you. For more information on how QA training can help you become more proficient in Excel, please click on one of the links below.